Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series. My name is Maher, I'm from Vancouver, BC. And today I had the privilege to interview Bobby Omar from Toronto. Hi Bobby, how are you doing? I'm doing Maher, how are you doing? Thank you for being here. So Bobby, he helps individuals build, build profitable relationships and help companies boost employee engagement. He has been on TEDx five times and on the Inc. Magazine top 100 leadership speakers. So Bobby, uh, my first question for you is in terms of employee engagement, especially nowadays that the workforce is divided, some are working from home, some from office or some remotely from home. So what kind of tips you can give to employers in terms of increasing their employee engagement? Yeah, so I mean, we've seen employee engagement uh, shift tremendously from COVID because people are working from home and I think that culture is shifting as well as engagement is shifting or it's kind of going down. So, you know, I think managers and teams are struggling to how do I keep my employees engaged? How, how to make them, you know, get through what we're going, th uh, going through and keep them kind of focused and engaged. And some companies are finding that uh, productivity has actually gone up because people have better balance in their lives. They like working from home. They're not commuting as much and others are struggling. So a few tips to keep in mind is one is, you know, the check-in. It's really important for our teams and leaders to check in with their team to check in with themselves to see how they're doing and give people a chance every single time they, they talk, whether it's daily or weekly, to actually say, listen, having a bad day, how are you doing? Like, we all understand we're all going through very similar challenges. So that check in I think is really, really important. The second thing is actually to do uh, an assessment of the culture because the culture uh, eight months ago in February is far mm -hmm. different than the culture now mm -hmm. in October, November. And we have to really be mindful of what that is. So really doing surveys, doing some analysis, get mm -hmm. some analytics in around exactly what the culture is of your team organization right now, because you're gonna identify what are the changes and how we've evolved as a team, but also what are the opportunities for us to actually address. You know, one of the things we're finding right now is that you know, I work with a lot of uh, leaders who are trying to do better with storytelling because they're realizing that telling stories about their personal lives, being more vulnerable is hard for them, but team members find that extremely engaging uh, in terms of the building that humanity amongst ourselves because we are all working remotely. So I think that's another thing that comes yeah. into play. And then I think the third thing when it comes to employee engagement is uh, doing activities that will actually keep people more engaged. And whether it means like booking one-on-one -on -one calls or whether it means having some fun activity, uh, some sort of team building aspect is built into longer meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, even if it's like 10 minutes out of a two hour meeting, that kind of stuff can go a long way to making people feel excited about joining a meeting and at the very end of the meeting make, being, being excited to come up to come to the next meeting. I can't wait to see you all again. I do appreciate the connection we have with each other. That gratitude will go a long way. That engagement will go a long way. Yeah, those are great tips, especially to check-ins and especially like 10 minutes. You know, how are you doing? How are you feeling today? Especially that people are working from home, they are surrounded with their uh, family members, kids, pets, so it's crowded sometimes the house. Yes, yes, absolutely. And, and we might be interrupted any moment by my kids, and, but yeah. that's, that's life now. Yeah, that's normal now. Yeah, Th thank you for those great tips, uh, Bobby. So for the audience watching for the first time, I'm going to ask Bobby a couple of questions and they will be posted on a daily basis. So it will be like a journey. You're going to check us every day. And if you like any of the videos, you can like and share, leave a comment below and tune in next time for other great questions with Bobby.